Dean. Hey, Stacy. How's it going with the big move? Oh, you know how it is. Moving is so stressful. I never thought Jerry and I would end up leaving our home and moving to another place. Even if it's only a 20-minute drive away, it still feels strange. I bet it does. I've moved house maybe seven times in my life, and it never gets easier. Packing things away into boxes always feels sad. Even if you know you'll be unpacking those boxes in no time at all. Moving is exciting, but it's strange how much a place can become part of you. A place that was so empty when you moved in. Yeah, it's so hard to let go of something, even if you know it's for the best. How is the new place? It's lovely! It's so big! It's a garden? And with the baby on its way, our beautiful boy is going to have a place he'll spend his childhood playing in. I'll make sure I buy you guys a swing set for a housewarming present. Well, I do have a small favor to ask of you, which could be a present of sorts, I suppose. Oh yeah? What is it? Well, I have to go and visit my mom in Idaho this weekend. Long story, but she isn't very well. She never really liked Jerry, and Jerry's got all these plans for decorating the new house. So I thought I'd go on my own, but Jerry, given half the chance, he needs a bit of help, let's just say that. I don't want to come home and find he's converted one of the rooms into a man cave. Oh, I see. He needs a woman's guidance. Exactly. Jerry's great, but his taste in home decor leaves a lot to be desired. I get you. I'll keep a close eye on him. And I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Give me a plan and I'll stick to it. And I'll make sure Jerry sticks to it too. That's my girl. I hope your mom's okay. It's hard to tell with her. She's always been a hypochondriac. She hates seeing the doctor. She's into holistic medicines. She thinks doctors poison people on purpose. I'm just going to check her out. And if it's serious, then I'll be dragging her kicking and screaming to see a medical professional. More stress. Yay! You'll be okay. You're so tough. I'm so envious of you. Your strength. Aw, thanks, Nadine. You're my best friend. Thank you for always being there for me through thick and thin. Hey, anything for you, Stacy. I can't wait to see your new house. Even though you won't be there to show me around. Call me when you get there. I can show you around over video call. Sounds perfect. Speak soon and safe travels. Thanks, Nadine. Speak soon. Hey, Nadine. Hey, Jerry. So I guess Stacy has filled you in? Yeah, she told me you're gonna need some help warming up the house this weekend. I sure am. You know Stacy, though. She doesn't trust that I'll get the job done without a woman's assistance. She's very wise, your wife. Yes, yeah, she is. So I was thinking, come over around mid-morning and we'll get to work? Sounds like a plan. I promise not to work you too hard. I'm good with anything. See you then, Nadine, and thank you. No problem, Jerry. See you then. Hey, Nadine. Hey, Jerry. Thanks for dropping by today. Yeah, no problem. I'm sorry. It's fine. Honestly, Jerry, it was a mistake. I never should have come around in the first place. It was stupid of me. No, it's not your fault. It's my fault. I'm the one who kissed you. I'm the one who has to shoulder the blame here. But I didn't stop you. I feel so ashamed. You were surprised. You didn't know what was going on. And, and besides, we'd shared two bottles of wine. We were both drunk. We let things get out of hand. It can never happen again, Jerry. I know that. Except... Except what? Except nothing! I'm sick of letting my dysfunctional life ruin other people's lives. I'm so selfish. I should have known. The second you suggested we share a bottle of wine that things would get out of hand. I knew and I didn't stop it. That means it's my fault. You knew it would get out of hand? Yeah, I did too. Then why did you suggest we share a bottle of wine? We had a nice day unboxing, decorating. We could have just left it there. I can't just leave it there with you, Nadine. I was the one who suggested you come around and help me decorate. I planted the idea in Stacy's head. Why? Because I can't stop thinking about you. Ever since that night, you're all I think about. That night was a mistake. I will never feel okay about that. But I do. I don't feel ashamed, Nadine. I, I think I'm in love with you. Don't say that. You don't mean it. I do mean it. I can't even blame it on the alcohol this time. To tell you the truth, moving into this house with Stacy was a mistake. How can you say that? She's expecting your child, Jerry. We never meant to. Are you telling me that the pregnancy was a mistake? Not 
a mistake. But the child was always a dream of hers, not mine. To tell you the truth, I haven't loved Stacy for a long time. Our marriage is a sham. It only seems nice from an outsider's perspective. We're not happy, Nadine. I'm not happy. Don't you think that's the reason why you kissed me? Why you're saying you love me? You don't actually love me, Jerry. You're just unhappy in your marriage. But I don't believe that you don't love Stacy. Not for one second do I believe that. I think you need to work on your marriage. I think you need to talk to her. And tell her about us? That won't go down well. Well, she'll find out eventually. Why haven't you told her about us? Because until yesterday, I was trying to forget us had ever happened. I thought it was a one-time mistake. I didn't know it would happen again. But now you're saying all of these things. I feel so ashamed. Stacy is my best friend. I would never want to betray her like this. She trusted me. Her mother is sick and we're doing this behind her back? It just doesn't sit right with me. We can tell her together. Together? We can be together, Nadine. No, Jerry, we can't. Yes, we can. I know you feel the same way. Yesterday just proved it to me. I've been waiting for a sign from you to let me know that what happened with us before wasn't just a mistake. But it was. Lightning doesn't strike twice. I wouldn't describe us hooking up as lightning, but it felt electric to me. Two people can feel different things. Just because you feel something for me doesn't mean I feel the same way. Yesterday was an intoxicated mistake, nothing more. It was a result of both of us feeling alone and lost. We're not soulmates, Jerry. I can't believe you lead me on like this. How is this me leading you on? I've told you time and time again that us hooking up was a mistake. The first time was a mistake and the second time was definitely a mistake. I came over to your house to help you decorate it for Stacy. Not because I had some vague hope of hooking up with you. I'm invested in you guys as a couple and I would die for Stacy. I would never hurt her intentionally. Nadine, if Stacy finds out about us, she'll never forgive you. She'll forgive me because I'm her husband, but not you. Being betrayed by a friend is worse. What are you saying, Jerry? Are you blackmailing me into not telling her? So let me get this straight. If I came clean to Stacy about us, but then I decided to keep hooking up with you, it's okay. But if I'm not going to hook up with you ever again, which is what I'm going to decide, by the way, if you hadn't noticed by now, then I shouldn't tell Stacy that I hooked up with you? Sounds like you're covering your back a bit here. I used to think you were a great guy, Jerry, but now I'm positive you're not. And now I'm positive that Stacy ought to know. You're not being particularly kind to someone who just told you that they are in love with you. What should I say, Jerry? Oh, you're so wonderful. Thank you for telling me you love me and that you want to divorce my best friend and you don't even want to meet your unborn son. That's insane, Jerry. You really are an awful person. And I feel sick. I was so stupid to indulge your pathetic fantasies, even for a second. Goodbye. Go to hell, Nadine. Hey, Stacy, how's your mom doing? Hey, Nadine, I was just going to text you. Mom's doing okay. Her breathing is bad, but I managed to get her to the doctors yesterday. They gave her something to help her breathe. How did yesterday go? Jerry wasn't a nuisance, was he? Did he cooperate? That's good news. Uh, about you. Actually, I need to talk to you about Jerry. You do? What is it? You're worrying me, Nadine. Is Jerry okay? He's fine. But I need to talk to you about something. Something I'm very ashamed about. Involving Jerry. What is it? Well, a few months ago, Jerry and I slept together. What? Y you what? It was a terrible mistake. We were drunk. He came over to fix my window, th the faulty one, and we ended up sharing a bottle of wine. And then it just happened. I, I was in a bad place after Mike and I divorced... I was at my lowest point, I hated the world, and I was drinking every day. I was alone, and Jerry kissed me, and it just happened. I told him the next day that I was so ashamed, and I wanted to tell you, but he told me that you were expecting a child, and it would ruin your marriage. And he was afraid you'd lose the baby with the stress of it all, so we kept it a secret. I went to AA, I got cleaned up, but it was always my intention to tell you. 
But I just needed to get myself together first. Jerry felt remorseful too. He told me that he loved you and it was a terrible mistake and I believed him, so I tried to suppress it, put the shame of it away, but then yesterday, when I was helping Jerry decorate your house, he opened up a bottle of wine. I don't know why I said yes to a glass, but I did. And the second the alcohol hit my lips, everything just faded away again, and all my self-hatred returned. And Jerry, he kissed me again. Only for a moment, I came to my senses and I told him to stop. And I left. But earlier today, he texted me. He told me he loved me. And when I told him that I couldn't live with the guilt anymore and that I needed to tell you, he tried to blackmail me into not telling you. He said you'd never forgive me. And that you'd forgive him because he was your husband. I know that it's unlikely you'll forgive me. I, I don't expect you to. My alcoholism is no excuse for what I did. But I can't live with the terrible shame of keeping something like this from you anymore. You're my best friend in the world. But that man, Stacy, he's a bad man. You deserve so much better than him. I don't know what to say, Nadine. This is the worst news I've ever been given. I I'm pregnant and I find out that my husband has been having an affair with my best friend? Trust me, Stacy. I never had feelings for Jerry. I I've been in a hole, an, an awful place. And I know it's not an excuse, but you have to believe me. I never wanted to hurt you. I don't feel anything for your husband. I, I feel like he has used me. He he's used my emotional vulnerability to play a terrible game. I understand you were in a bad place, but you could have talked to me. But instead, you decided to self-destruct and, and the fallout... The fallout of your selfishness? It's ruined my life. I can't begin to explain how sorry I am. I don't want your forgiveness, Stacy. I wouldn't forgive me for this. I don't forgive myself for this. I, I don't recognize myself anymore. The person that I used to be, I wake up every day and try to be a good person, but I can't do it. I, I fail. I'm a failure and I know it. I've let down the most important person in my life. You have let me down. I just don't know what to do or say. My head is telling me to never speak to you again, but my heart is telling me that you are being genuine and that you are genuinely sorry that people make terrible mistakes. I don't want you to forgive me, Stacy, but if you do, you are a better person than I could ever be. But I, I also don't want you to forgive me because if you can find it in your heart to forgive me, then... You can find it in your heart to forgive Jerry, and I would hate to see you continue to be exploited by that man, as he has exploited me. What I decide to do in regard to my husband is up to me. Who I choose to forgive is up to me. Jerry is my husband. He is the father to my unborn son. If he was having an affair with 20 women, I would still have the decision to make. I wish it were as easy as leaving him and not looking back, but life is never easy. You saw firsthand what divorce did to you, and it's led us here to a terrible place. Whatever you decide to do, I will understand. You're the strongest person I know. I've always looked up to you. Perhaps subconsciously that's the reason I did what I did. Because I was jealous of you. Because you've always been better than me. Clearly my husband doesn't think so. Your husband needs therapy. He needs to work on himself. Like I do. One thing is for sure. When I get home, my husband is in a lot of trouble. I know he is. As far as we're concerned, Nadine, I'm going to need some time. Of course, take as much time as you need. I still feel ashamed about what happened with Jerry and what we did to Stacy. I don't think that shame will ever go away, and I don't think I want it to. I want it to be a constant reminder that if I don't keep myself away from the things that I know can hurt me, I will inevitably end up hurting other people. The first time I relapsed, I immediately did something terrible. Stacy was kind enough to forgive me and we still see each other, but our friendship will never be the same. She did, however, end things with Jerry and filed for a divorce. Some people are past redemption.